Hey, kia ora, Helen Brahms here from Sun City in Arizona. So um, I wanted to do this separate from my usual daily lives because it's going to be fun. I am super excited to see what's in this box. Um, I got a box. I was um, playing around on the internet like I do sometimes and discovered this item. And I thought, well, that sounds really, what is all this about? And there was just something that caught my eye and I thought what's all this about so I went and had a look at the website and watched their videos and all of that sort of stuff and I thought, this sounds this could be really cool hmm so I ordered the first box and it has arrived it actually arrived a few days ago and so it's here in this box I did unzip this but I haven't taken anything out of here yet so in here there is a couple of these white boxes there's a so I'm gonna um, so I wanted to unbox it to see what they've got in here. So I've got two of these white boxes. I don't know if they are the same or different. So we're gonna open the first one. Ooh, this is cool. So I have a it says detective juice. I think detective juice. Um Oh, and it's got their logo on the other side. So this outfit is called Hunt a Killer. And you're the detective and got to solve the mystery. So that's really cool. That's the detective juice. So that's cool. What's in this one? Oh, looks like we've got two of them. Yes, so we have two detective juice things and their thing, Hunt a Killer. Hunt a Killer is on the other side, their logo. So that's pretty cool. All right, so those can go... I don't have a lot of space on this table. It's my one bane about being in an RV is not having a lot of table space. So let's see if we can put those over there. I'll put that there because I'll put them back in. Then I have a book called Killer Cocktails. Now this will be interesting. I don't drink. It's to assist you in your homicide investigation. Let's see. Nice thick pages. Okay, so they have general tips and tricks. Everything from make your own simple syrup to get a jigger, freeze different types of ice, get some different kinds of glasses. They have a glossary for shake, stir, strain, Hawthorne strainer, double strain. Didn't know there was different types of strain, did you? No, neither did I. Um, and they've got here, novice detective. So recipes in the section, <laughs> they got them named after murder in Moscow, elementary, my dear Watson, death by cement shoes, <laughs> Metsky's double-breasted suit, red drum, and modus operandi. So those are the different, I bet they're probably all rum, yeah, Helen won't be doing any of these recipes. Oh, expert FBI profiler section. What's in this one? Blood splatter analysis. <laughs> Flight Risk, The Butcher Bird, The Smoking Gun, and Widow's, Mot Widow's Motive. Oh, well, I'm a widow. What's that put in there? Not by murder, though. Widow's Motive has bourbon, ch yellow chartreuse, Aperol, whatever that is. Oh, it's got stuff in here I can't even pronounce, so there definitely won't be. They don't have any. It's got a liqueur in it. They don't have any non-alcoholic ones. Huh. Crime of passion. It's gin, lemon juice, simple syrup, another type of gin, and some sparkling wine. Well, that's under the private investigator one. Anyway, so we've got a recipe book for cocktails, which I will never use. Um, but, and then, let me get this out. Okay, you can go down there now. Um, this is my mystery with all my evidence inside. It's still taped, so I need to and take that get my quick cutter here all right oops goes this way let's see what we have in here so in here we have all of the evidence all the files everything to help us solve a mystery so mallory rock episode one this month your package contains 11 items and then watch if something is missing and then it's got a checklist to make sure that everything is in there and then what to do to complete this episode. And for hints, you go to the QR code here by the looks of it. Okay. Um, welcome to Hunter Killer. 
dedicate a space to play because obviously you're going to be spreading things out. Take notes. It's not a race. They've got a Facebook community, a Twitter community, an Instagram community. So this is kind of what you, although I didn't, didn't order, you could order the board and I thought I'm only trying this out. Plus I don't know how big their board is and I have no room for a board in this RV. So that's sort of like what their set is. And then this is from Mariner's Lodge Hotel, which is where the, where the murder took place. So in here, how do I get into this thing? Oh, hang on, I need my other little. Reaching to start it. Okay. All right, we're going to go to this end. Put that there. There's a lot of stuff in here. Look at that. Mallory Rock, established 1690. Oh, that's good paper on the inside. That's cool. I guess that's for... It's an okay. So Mallory Rock is an island off the coast of Maine, founded in 1690 as an outpost of the Massachusetts Bay Colony. It is one of the oldest towns in New England. Many of the island's residents are descended from Mallory Rock's founders, and they proudly carry on the legacy and traditions of their ancestors. Cool. There's a voyage, the lighthouse, the ferry, the fishing industry. So there's a little bit of history stuff in here. That'll be fun to read through. So that's one item that's in here. Then we have, oh, coaster. Cool. Okay. Let's see if we can. Marker. All right. So here's, what's this? This is, oh, this is the letter about the case. And what's contained within. So Gwen is looking for us to help her with. Oh, apparently we've been recommended by a friend called Michelle. Okay. <laughs> then there's Grey Investigations. Let's see. Oh, this is the letter that um, that she replied to Gwen. Letter from Gwen. Letter from Michelle recommending us. Here is the celebration of life for Beth, ha Beth Ferris Hendricks. Apparently this was not a death, it was a murder. It was a murder. Got the police report. What's this? Oh, email chain. So there is the police report. There is a email thread. There's tourist tips for Mallory Rock see lantern of oh, Mallory Rock Maine so they've got a magazine here this is pretty cool oh yes we're definitely going to need space for and the map the Mallory Rock Island map so taking all of this into account plus the different places we get to go to with the QR code we can put all together and help find out more clues and help solve the mystery and so this is going to be fun this is going to look forward to this I get to use my detective skills in a different way so i was curious because the genealogist in me was sort of like well this is kind of what we do we go hunting for dead people um oh so great we're part of gray investigations and we've been um so this is six weeks ago my body's my sister's body washed up on north beach she had a huge gash in her head so the cops think she fell from a nearby bluff and floated in on the tide. They ruled her death an accident. I would believe them, but Beth was scared of heights, and I mean absolutely terrified. My gut tells me there is no way she fell from anything taller than a step stool. Uh, my sister was murdered. So then it goes on. Let's see, she wasn't perfect. Da, 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 da. And so this gives some background into her life. Um, and Michelle from Grey investigations has sent this all over to me and then this is all the information that she's provided for me to go and solve the murder so that's what was in my box it's called hunt a killer and uh, i'm really looking forward to going into the, oh hang on i better check my checklist when's letter yes pi letter memorial service program the notebook the accident report 
the printed emails, the tourist tips brochure, the lantern magazine, the map, the lighthouse souvenir, and the dry erase marker. So yes, that's all in there. So I will keep you posted on how this goes and how long it takes me to solve it. Um, but this is going to be fun. <laughs> kind of glad I did this. Um, yeah, it was just a just a whim thing to go try it out and see. And so if you'd like to know more about this, I'm actually going to put the link um, in the comments below um, that you can try it out. They currently have, they sent me an email today. Um, they currently have a um, referral um, special on today where you will get 30% off your first box if you use the link that I'm going to put into the comments. So um, that's pretty cool. And uh, so this is going to be fun. I'm looking forward to doing this. Um, I have to go read everything now. And then that's if it's missing. Examine all the documents and items for clues. Check the virtual desktop for additional evidence. Decipher all coded messages. Begin profiles on any potential suspects and timeline of events. That's kind of what we do in genealogy, timeline of events. Um, when you know the answer to Gwen's objective, go to, and it gives you the website to go to, log in with your personal email address and your password. It's giving you the password. Then open the Mallory case file, and there's the password for that. Open the contact shortcut and send a new message with the subject line and what the subject line is in the body of the message type the exact name of the location you identified based on the evidence in this episode you will receive a congratu congratu congratulations response changing the words <laughs> if you're correct if your answer is incorrect you should receive a response prompting you to try again i like that and then it has on here um Hints and recaps and solutions, you can go on the QR code. This is going to be fun. Mm. So anyway, that was my um, Hunter Killer, my box with these really cool mugs in it, my Killer Cocktails book, which I won't use. Might give that to somebody. I don't know. We'll see. Find somebody who can use it. And I got my marker from Marina's Lodge Hotel. Anyway, so that's it from me for now. Um, I'm going to, like I said, I'll put the link in the bottom there where you get 30% off your first box. Go check it out. Um, the website was really cool. It sounded really cool. I'm looking at this. I'm sort of like, I can't wait to get into this. So I might even do some of it tonight. It's only it's only 7 p.m. So I've got time. I can do some of this tonight to have a look at it. Um, but anything that requires thinking, solving a puzzle, I love those things. So anyway, have a super fantastic sparkling evening and we'll catch you guys later on. Hey, Conera.